Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. If you, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I, up, I upload here every weekday at 3 p.m. And so make sure, do not miss any of them, so smash the subscribe button. We're trying to reach 40 subscribers by the end of February. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this video is going to be talking about CD Projekt Red. If you guys haven't heard, the dude, uh, they were hacked and they were being pretty much hostage. They were pretty much being a hostage. Uh, uh, so they were demanding ransom and all that stuff, though, dude. Okay, let's get into like the backstory, though, dude, about this, though, dude. Uh, okay. uh Game Studio C CD Projekt Red uh has been you know under a lot of fire since. Cyberpunk 70, 2077, because that game wasn't that good on most consoles, though, dude. And it was unplayable on last-gen uh, hardware. Uh, the Xbox One and the PS4, which it was made for to play on, though, dude. It was really supposed to be on those platforms, so if it's not even, it's not even, it wasn't even playable on that, though, dude. Yeah, and then the attackers claim that they have encrypted all of the server's data, but CD Projekt Red Bull is probably going to currently restore all the data from backup. Um... So it's just kind of okay, and it says that like if CD Product Red is not given its demands, even to the demands of the attackers, even if that means, um, uh, if they do not do that, dude, uh, the data will be released, which um, and while CD Product Red has claimed that, to the best of their knowledge, no personal data of players has been compromised. Yeah, so trying to shut down the breach, though, dude. Okay, I'm gonna read the tweet, though, dude, of it, though, dude. Okay, guys, so, um, here's the tweet. Okay, um, it says, you have, okay, it's like, hello, CD Project Red, exclamation point, exclamation point, tons of exclamation point. Says, you have been epically pawned. Who the hell says that, dude? I've actually never really heard anyone actually say pawned, or pwned, or whatever, though, dude. No, a long time, dude. We have dumped full copy of the source codes for your performance service for Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, and the unreleased version of Witcher 3. Wow. We have also dumped all your documents relating to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investors, relations, uh, and more. That could actually be pretty big. Uh, and we have encrypted all of your service, but we, do, we understand that you are most likely recover from backup. If we will, if we will not come to an agreement, then your source source codes will be sold or leaked online, and your documents will be sent to our contracts in gaming journalism. Your public image will go down the shitter even more, even more. People will see how shitty your company functions. Investors will lose trust in your company, and the stocks will dive even lower. You have forty eight hours to contact us. Wow. So they're being host. They're being hostage. Though, dude. They're being like. It's held hostage, though, dude. Yeah, if they do not contact them, they're probably looking for money. That's the most uh, obvious thing, though, dude, of what they would be looking for. Uh, there has been some updates. To CD Product Red has claimed that it is not going to pay ransom. It won't pay any ransom. Uh, then we got got some news uh, four hours ago uh, on. Uh, that says CD Projekt Red hackers allegedly already auctioning leaked source files. Ooh, that's kind of bad already. Okay. Yesterday news broke out. The, the, the hackers gave CDR 48 hours to respond to their ransom demands, and it seems that time is already up. The group claiming to be behind the hacking has now posted the source of CD Projekt Red's Gwent card game on a hacking form claimed to be auctioning off the source code for Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk in explicit forms. With a starting bid of a thousand. Wow. This is not good for CD Projekt Red. You know. Hopefully, no none of the player's personal data got out to do. That would just be awful. Okay, the hackers claim to also obtain source files. They already said that. The source code to, to Gwent. Uh, there. Oh, yeah. And then the, it shows a picture of it. Though, dude. And wow, that is. Everything looks probably in order. Wow. Okay. As spotted by VX Underground, a well-known entity in the so in the data security space, the data is already up for auction with a 
few sample bits of code available on the explicit exploit form. The starting bid was set to a thousand for a full, full cash, and it's easy to imagine it will sell for a much higher price. Meanwhile, the leaked Gwent files also appear to have made their way to a handful of other forms, including 4chan, with the main download hosted on Mega. They found tra traces on the threads, but they also ha have since already been removed and deactivated. As such, we are unable to confirm the validity of this leak. Either way, it appears that Mega, 4chan, and other forms are actively working to ensure the Gwent code, which appeared on the to take place, doesn't end uh, in too many public hands. Releasing the ransom data in separate stages is a standard method to threaten the targets. In this case, the hackers are using the tactic to remind CD Projekt Red that they are serious about the ransom. However, it is important to note that thus far we have been unable to find the source files ourselves to confirm the original attack. All we have is CD Projekt Word about the attack along with traces of screenshots of the data cache. CD Projekt Red has remained defiant in the face of the ransom demands. It won't cave into the demands. Okay guys, so let's talk about this though, dude. Yeah, this is not good for their public image at all. Uh, not the fact that they aren't responding to hackers. Uh, they are refusing that they're... It's uh, but like, they haven't even found who has done it though, dude. I mean, like, they need to have, they probably need to have a little bit better security though, dude. Because like, this right here, dude, they could have gotten like, players information, you know, like, credit card information, um... Uh, their name, location, email addresses, though, dude. Oh, none of that would have been good, though, dude. None of that would have would have been good for the player base or even or CD product Red's uh, Red um, reputation, though, dude. Again, so they need to do something about this, though, dude. Like find out who did it, though, dude, and bring them to justice, or or do something, though, dude. They need to do something. And um, yeah. Okay, guys, so I guess that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload here Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, if you like uh, if you like the game Golf Story, a uh, link to the, my series on that will be on the screen uh, at the end of the video. And also a link to my second channel, same place, and, um, uh, and a... And a link to my most popular video on the channel, uh, Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo, which I would say is probably one of my best videos. I've, not really one of my best videos, though, dude. Wow. But I can't believe that I did the best. Wow. So, yeah, guys. So, see you tomorrow. We're trying to hit 40 subscribers. So, make sure you subscribe and bye.